Hello, Novo person, this is Anton, and today we're going to briefly discuss what's happening with the New Horizons probe that you can sort of see right here, this is a simulation from NASA, after incredible observations from Pluto and a flyby of another object known as Aragoth back in 2019. And though by itself this mission has been already active for about 17 years, technically its official mission is over, and it's been basically conducting what's known as Extended Mission, with the main focus being the region known as the Kuiper Belt. And even though to date this is actually a really successful mission, and right now the probe is still operating at 100%, because of the recent reshuffling at NASA that I've discussed I think about two months ago, in the last few months NASA has actually been trying to sort of condense some of its programs, in some sense cut away some fat here and there in order to basically focus on specific missions, the ones that are going to be launching in the next few years, which as a result meant that the mission that gave us this beautiful picture of Pluto, followed by the unusual observations from Aragoth, was now sort of in a bit of a pickle. But the pickle being, NASA wasn't sure what to do with the mission, or if it should actually continue studying what's known as planetary objects, and maybe instead switch to something entirely different. And so because of this, in the last few weeks, following the report that you can find right here, a report that's over 100 pages long, some of the NASA administrators suggested that maybe New Horizons should now switch to solar observations, or what's known as heliophysics, instead of trying to study more rocks. Which basically meant one thing. The entire team, led by the planetary scientist Alan Stern, would have to be pretty much completely replaced by someone entirely different, with the main focus now being the Sun instead of being planets. But what exactly is the reasoning here? Well, the main point here is kind of simple to understand. Since the visitation of Pluto and the flyby near Aragoth, in the last four years, the scientists were trying to use various telescopes, including the Japanese Subaru, to try to find additional rocks or additional planetary bodies that they could maybe observe by conducting another flyby. Since Aragoth was such a weird discovery and provided so much good science, here the scientists argued that we could maybe do something similar again, discovering even more in the process. But the problem is that, well, things in space are really far away, and it's generally not very easy to change direction. And so for the past four years, no additional object has been discovered that's within the trajectory for the New Horizons to potentially reach it. Now because the spacecraft is moving really fast and because it's moving away from Pluto, according to the scientific calculations, there's just enough fuel to maybe encounter something if it has a deviation of about 1 degree from the current trajectory. So here the spacecraft can move just a little bit away from its trajectory and that object will have to cross the trajectory at some point in the future. But no additional discoveries have been made since 2019 and as the spacecraft moves farther and farther away, the odds of finding something new are even lower. And what's worse is that the scientists have been getting even less time on the telescope, so their ability to find something out there has decreased even more. And so basically for them to continue the mission, they have to find something, some kind of an additional object, within the next year and a half or so. But at the moment they don't believe they'll be able to do so, which potentially jeopardizes the planetary mission for New Horizons. And which also means that by 2025, it might switch to a completely different scientific mission, in this case being heliophysics. But the current project leader, Alan Stern, disagrees. And honestly, he makes a pretty good point. Originally, this mission was also intended to study the Kuiper Belt. And though we haven't found a lot of objects crossing the trajectory with the New Horizons, it's actually still going to be in the Kuiper Belt until 2028. And it's literally the only mission we're going to have in this belt for a pretty long time. Possibly ever. We don't even know when the next mission to the outer solar system is going to be launched. And so shutting down the research on planetary objects and trying to switch this to a solar mission is maybe a little bit premature. And that's even if they don't really discover any objects that can be studied in more detail just yet. But more importantly, there's actually another researcher that recently announced something else exciting that can potentially give this mission even more reason to exist. This was part of a much wider discussion with other members of the mission, but one of the Canadian researchers, Wes Fraser, recently made a very surprising and somewhat intriguing proposition. Based on new discoveries, it actually does look like the solar system has two Kuiper belts, or technically binary Kuiper belt, as visible from this image. And more importantly, it also suggests that right now, the New Horizons is just flying through a relatively empty area in between the belts. But the spacecraft is going to be visiting this region within the next few years and is going to be flying through it for several years afterwards. Which implies that in the next few years, possibly within 4-5 to five years, it's actually going to move through a region we've never visited and never knew anything about. Mostly because compared to previous probes, like for example the Pioneer probes or the Voyager probes, 
New Horizons is really the only mission that's pretty much on the plane of the solar system and is going to be flying directly through what could be another asteroid belt that we didn't really know existed. And though understandably maybe this is just a reason the scientists are trying to find for the mission to be extended and to exist further, at the moment the data seems to suggest that they are not wrong at all. There does seem to be a much higher number of objects slightly farther away and potentially several objects that could be close enough for the probe to see them. But it's not going to enter this region until late 2020s or even early 2030s. And by then, the nuclear fuel on the probe is actually going to start reaching the point where some of the instruments might have to reduce their operation in order to save energy. But technically the probe is still going to be operational in 2040s and even 2050s. Sort of similar to what happened to the Voyager probes. And so at the moment it's actually a bit unclear what's going to happen to New Horizons or what NASA decides to do with it, especially if the scientists behind this recent discovery might have really discovered a new structure within the solar system after all. And though we might not actually see similar pictures to what you see right here, the very detailed pictures from Arakoth, it is still possible, especially if someone finds some kind of an object we didn't know existed that's moving in just the right way for the New Horizons to cross it. At the moment though, its future is a bit uncertain. And though, as I mentioned, the mission is not going to get shut down, it's just going to be repurposed for different scientific goals. If NASA does go through with it and changes this to a heliophysics mission, unofficially this is going to be seen as the end of New Horizons. But I think it's still a little bit too early to tell what's going to happen, because the discussion itself is far from finished. And if by some chance we do find a planetary body on the way, it's definitely going to extend the mission by at least a few years. Although, at least for now, I guess we can assume that it's almost the end of New Horizons. It definitely taught us a lot about Pluto, it showed us a lot of pictures from different objects, and even collected data from objects like Saturn and Jupiter, but despite all of this, there's a chance that by next year, it might be more or less finished. And since we have no other mission to the outskirts of the solar system planned for anytime soon, to some extent it can also be seen as a kind of an end of an era. Currently there is no plan for anything to be launched to, for example, Uranus, Neptune, or any other objects farther away, and so it's really only New Horizons that still is, technically, the most exciting planetary mission we currently have. It just doesn't really have any planets or objects to study right now. But anyway, once we learn more, we'll definitely talk more about this in some of the future videos. Although I think the next video is definitely going to be about that second Kuiper belt, once the scientists provide a little bit more information and a little bit more evidence. Thank you for watching, subscribe, share this with someone who has learned about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, and maybe support this channel on Patreon by joining channel membership or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye.